Hey survivors, welcome to the video. This one is going to explain the reasons why the narcissist is stalking you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Why is the narcissist stalking me? Narcissists can't just leave you alone. They have an obsessive nature and something is always triggering in their minds. They are always thinking about what you are doing, if you are doing better without them, or what they might be missing out on. Narcissists are always involved in some form of criminal behavior, illegal activity, or criminal network. You may not have been aware of it at first, but once you figure it out, their criminal behavior then has a direct effect on you. They will spy on you to see the aftermath of their abuse or manipulation. They have to ensure that you are struggling without them, without their support, without them to help you and be there for you. They have to see you miserable and dissatisfied with your life. Once they want nothing to do with you, you have to be seen as all bad. Narcissists see people as all bad or all good, black or white thinking. They cannot function seeing a person as having both good and bad things about them. They have to demonize you. This is their attempt of dodging the shame they feel for their sadistic nature. They enjoy your suffering, but they don't want to feel bad about it. So you have to be demonized. You have to be seen as an evil person. It doesn't matter how much you have done for them or how good of a person you are. Once they've decided in their minds that you are all bad, you cannot change that no matter what you do. Because it's not you that's the problem. If it was, you could make adjustments to yourself and everything will be okay. But your choices or actions are irrelevant in this situation because it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. They need someone to demonize. They need someone to abuse and manipulate. Once they've decided to see you as being all bad, you become their target. You need to understand and accept that you are not dealing with a normal, emotionally healthy individual. Many of them are sadistic. Some may simply not care about your pain or suffering but the sadistic ones actually enjoy the distress they cause you. They feed off it. Some people believe that they must be demonic to enjoy and feed off a person's pain. But there is a psychological explanation for it. The narcissist believes that they have unfairly or unjustly exp experienced a great deal of suffering and misfortune throughout their lives. They have never begun to forgive the people that caused them to feel this way. They carry all of this emotional baggage to the present moment and then take it out on you as though you were responsible for all of the suffering and misfortune they experienced in their lives. After a certain amount of time, they became responsible for their own suffering and misfortune by holding on to the intense hatred, anger, envy or jealousy for so many years. But as narcissists are emotionally immature and do not want to self-reflect or look within themselves, 
They never accepted responsibility for the grudges or resentment they held for so many years. Of course, these intense negative emotions, which they have bottled up, sometimes for their entire lives, have to come out at some point. They don't self-reflect or look within themselves, so their only other option is to target you and project all of their misery and suffering onto you. This makes them feel a little bit better for a short amount of time. It gives them some mild gratification. But for them to do this, it also causes a great deal of shame. They are shame-based individuals. So, in an attempt to dodge the shame, they have to devalue you and de dehumanize you, seeing you as someone who is all bad. They spy on you just to see the effects, the aftermath of their abuse and manipulation. If they see that you are achieving or obtaining anything in life, they can then pull the strings behind the scenes to sabotage and destroy all of that. They can't just allow you to move on with your life, achieving and ob obtaining what you had before or something new. They are extremely envious and jealous people. No matter what they have in life, they can never be satisfied or fulfilled with anything. Yet they know that you could be satisfied and fulfilled with the littlest of things. So you have to have nothing. You can't even have your standard God-given rights without them feeling intense envy and jealousy towards you. Because even if they do have more than you in some aspect of their lives, they can't get the same fulfillment. Remember how people feel on the inside is how they will try to make you feel. Whatever emotion they are trying to get you to feel is exactly how they feel on the inside. If they don't want you to have anything in life, it's because they feel like they don't have anything in their lives. If they are trying to hurt you, it's because they are hurt. Hurt people hurt people. But that does not take away the responsibility of their actions. Their pain does not justify their abusive actions towards you. If everyone had that mentality, where would, where would we be? But of course, the narcissist doesn't think that way. They can abuse people. They can manipulate you. Because they are the exception to the rules. The exception to the laws. That doesn't apply to them. They also see you as an object or an extension of, the, of themselves. As an object, you exist to serve them, to make them feel more comfortable, to give them narcissistic supply. You exist to give them attention and validation. You exist to make them feel powerful and in control. As a negative extension of them, they apply all of their negative qualities and traits, all of their flaws, faults, and mistakes onto you they see you as all bad. It is an attempt for them to dodge the shame when they abuse and manipulate you. They have an obsessive and sadistic nature. They can't help themselves. They struggle to control their impulsive actions and behaviors. Because they are entertaining these irrational and dysfunctional thoughts which produce intense negative emotions which they have no control over. These types of actions and behaviors should be expected from a person who struggles to control their irrational and dysfunctional thoughts and intense negative emotions. 
this is what causes them to, to, to act in such an irrational way. They keep feeding into these thoughts instead of resolving them within themselves. Anything that might make you feel happy, satisfied or fulfilled in your life, the narcissist will sabotage or prevent it from happening. Because they do not feel happy, satisfied or fulfilled with anything in their lives. They never have and they never will and they know it. That's why they're so desperate and obsessed with tearing you down. Because they know they're doomed. They're destined to always be the miserable, jealous and envious people they are. So they give up on trying in their own lives and instead focus on sabotage and prevention of anything good in your life. The reason why they are so arrogant towards you is to overcompensate for how incapable they really are. They prevented me from working for over three years and tried to make me believe that I am talentless and not good enough to have a job. I created my YouTube channel and after six months, I don't even need to work anymore. Although earning money from this wasn't even a thought in the beginning. Because of their deep insecurities and lack of ability, they have to underestimate their targets. They have this black or white, good or bad mentality. They have to see us as being all bad, worthless and insignificant so that they can be all good. They will continue to stalk and sabotage though because deep down they know all too well that if they leave you alone for a second you will surpass them in no time. They are very aware of this and that's why they will desperately, desperately and obsessively stalk and harass you. Forget about what they are saying to you or how they are tr trying to make you feel. Pay attention to their actions. Pay attention to how they are constantly stalking and harassing you. If they knew that you were not capable of anything great, they wouldn't even need to do that. They would just leave you alone to do what you want. But of course they are not going to do that because they know all too well that the only thing holding you back is them. They will try anything to make you believe that they are what you want. The truth is, they are what is preventing you from achieving your true potential. They are just trying to make you believe that they are what you want in your life. At some point, you will begin to develop greatness despite their obsessive stalking and harassment. Then they will reveal to you just how pathologically envious and jealous they are through their passive aggression and covert tactics. God has given us free will. He has given us the ability to choose and decide how we want to live. We can choose to experience happiness and fulfillment. But of course, the narcissist's goal, the narcissist's purpose is to take away your free will. Take away your God-given right to live and experience this, this thing we call life. So to me personally, it's really no surprise when people tell me they think narcissism could be demonic. Satan is the master of manipulation, the master of distorting your reality. 
Satan wants to take away your free will. Satan wants to take away your decision and ability to choose how you want to live. Satan wants to take away your happiness and fulfillment and give you nothing but misery and suffering in return. Satan wants to take away your free will and your God-given rights and experiences in life. Exactly the same as a narcissist. Narcissism is on the rise. So more and more people are becoming self-absorbed. A person who can properly attend to you, meet your emotional needs and validate you is very rare. So if you are an empath like I am, you are going to find narcissists crawling all over you. Because very few people are capable of properly listening and attending to a person. What you have as, as an empath is a rare gift. They cannot get such a deep emotional connection or understanding from anyone else. If they could, then they would. But they can't. And this is why you will find them obsessively stalking you and competing with others for your attention. Deep emotional connection, emotional vulnerability and true intimacy is very rare these days. If you are capable of giving this to a person, expect to be stalked, expect to be harassed because very few people are capable of offering that these days. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. I will have more videos very soon.